Good morning, I've been asked by a friend just to do a short video on the different types of pottery. How do you tell earthenware, stoneware and porcelain apart? So there are three main types of um, pottery that you can find, uh, being earthenware, uh, stoneware and porcelain. So let's have a look at the characteristics of each of these in turn. Okay, starting with earthenware. Earthenware is probably the most common type of pottery fabric um, and basically all pottery until about 1300 uh, in the West anyway uh, was made of earthenware, it's just ordinary clay which is fired at a fairly low temperature um, sometimes a bonfire is enough just to harden it off uh, and it is not impervious to liquids unless it is glazed so the fabric is quite open, often if it's not glazed it's quite sandy, uh, it's fairly soft and light, you can actually mark it quite easily with just your fingernail, so it's not really a very strong fabric. Um, also because um, it's not impervious to liquids, when it's buried then the dirt will stain the edge and it won't be very clean if you compare that which has been buried for about a hundred years uh, and that is the fresh break there so you can see the original colour of the clay but it's been stained through being in the earth because the liquid can penetrate the broken edge. Okay, comparing this with stoneware. So stoneware, as the name implies, is a much harder material. It is fired to a much higher temperature. Um, and it actually is um, impervious to liquids without a glaze. So it doesn't get stained in the soil in the same way. Um, because it's hard, also uh, you can't scratch it with your fingernail because it's a much tougher little animal um, but it sounds different to earthenware so it actually has a little ring to it so the stoneware and earthenware see earthenware has quite a dull sound to it but the stoneware has more of a ring to it So porcelain is fired to an even higher temperature and it's almost glass-like. Uh, so when it breaks, it's got what they call a conchoidal fracture, which is a, a fracture like glass, really. I don't know if you can see where this little Chinese export saucer has chipped. Um, it chips very much like glass with that sort of fracture to it. Um, and again, it has a nice ring to it. Ooh. Worcester, Chinese. But the earthenware doesn't have the same ring to it, being made of much softer material. Now, a porcelain you can get in hard paste, the Chinese version here, or soft paste which the English factories in the 18th century favoured. Um, they're both highly fired, this is Worcester. Um, the Chinese hard paste is a bit harder, harsher, and a bit bluer in the glaze, I think you can see there. But the main characteristic of porcelain is... The main characteristic of porcelain is that it is translucent. So if you shine a light you can see the light through it. It's such a sunny day. I have to come into a cupboard to show you, but I hope you can see there that it is shining right through the clay there. So I hope that a little summing up is helpful and will help you identify your finds when you can finally leave your house and make some. Stand by soon for another top 10. I've got another one in the pipeline. Thank you for watching. Bye.